I think I've said it three or four times now. He, when you can have a guy that can play the way he can play with his hand in the ground, that's a very unique skill set in 2024 offensively. Um, see, I don't think CJ gets the credit that he deserves in, in the pass catcher that he is and the way he can run. Um, you know, you ask our defense in, in the couple scrimmages we've had from spring ball until fall camp what it was like tackling 81 when he got in the open field. You know, it, he's a big man. And so that's our job as coaches to get him involved and uh, get him doing things that he's good at. And, and, you know, where the game plan is right now, he, we've got those things for him to be able to go make some plays. I really want to see him in the open field myself. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a big man. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank yes, sir. Thank Coach you. Coach Joe Gaither. Yep. yep. Brian Ellis. Yep. Oh. Obviously, you were Georgia Southern uh, most recently, but has there been any uh, picking your brain about your time at Western Kentucky that, uh, over the last couple of weeks? We, we're going to do whatever it takes to win the football game. And uh, if that, you know, that's why you're hired. You're, you're hired to, to help in any way that you can. And if, if there was a way that I could help, I was for sure going to do that for us. What's been the mindset as far as the staff goes? Obviously, there's been a lot of buildup for the last seven months. Now it's first game. What's been the mindset inside the staff room as far as it's our first game being in charge of Alabama? Putting good things on tape. Um, getting our kids to play with reckless abandon. Getting them to execute at an extremely high level. And I think when, when you have the talent that we have, putting those things on tape are going to lead to good things for us. And, and that's all we worry about. Coach Saban on Saturday during ESPN game day said that the culture at Alabama is still the same as when he left. What are some of the things that you and the staff uh, did to ensure that that culture continued? Well, I think it's, it's more on the players. You know, I think when you talk about culture, when you have a player-driven culture, that's obviously what is the it is best case scenario. And I think, you know, you look at Coach DeVore and where he's been in the last couple months, I think it takes a lot of self-confidence for him to come in here and not want to drastically change and do it his way. You know, it's a unique situation when you're walking into a place after so much success of how do I want to put my stamp on it? How do I want to make sure that I'm being me? But why do I need to change a bunch of things that's been really, really good for the last 17 years? And so I think that the, the player culture that they've had these past years have has continued and he's allowed them to continue to drive that culture. And I. It goes. I give Coach DeBoer a ton of credit. I, I think you have to have the utmost self-confidence in yourself to be able to come into a place like Alabama and do that. I think a lot of the Alabama fans are already familiar with C.J. Dupree and Robbie Oots. What will Alabama fans learn about Josh Cuevas this year? How talented he is. And I think they're going to learn how talented he is very, very quickly. Uh, he's a great kid. He works his tail off at it. Obviously, he's got more knowledge in the offense, hell, than I do. And so um, I, I think you're going to see – how big and strong and physical he can be and how much of a weapon he can be in the passing game. Last two, last two. Kind of how impactful so far has Ty Lockwood been in that tight end room? Great locker at high school, but what does he bring to that room that makes him special in the Oh, uh, well, Ty's a big kid. He's talented. Um, you know, Ty's probably got the best hands in our room as far as being able to, to pluck the ball out of the air and catch the ball with his hands. Um, you know, we're, we've got to continue to grow, get stronger. You know, it, when you're – like I said before, the tight end position is a developmental position. And so when you're when you're a young player competing, when you're 18, 19 years old, and you're competing in your own room with 21, 22 year olds that's been in a college football program for, for four years, it, that can be tough for those kids. And so he continually to grow, continue to get stronger. He's a great kid. Um, and he's a weapon in the passing game as well with, with how well he can catch the football.